Hey everyone, I'm Natalie and recently I came home from an eight month journey in my converted sprinter van named Toad back into my tiny house and it feels so good to be here. I've only been here for a couple of days and there is such a transition that happens from living on the road and then coming back to, I would say more of my foundational home, even though this home is mobile too. But there are seven things that I have been doing that help me feel grounded, that help me transition, that give me a lot of peace, that help me stay balanced with my nutrition, with my movement, with my stress, and helping me just get organized with how I'm living now in uh, Minnesota and living in my tiny house. So here are the seven things that I have been doing to help me switch from living full-time van life to now full-time tiny house living. So number one is celebrating. <laughs> Before you do anything like get back on a diet or like force yourself to the gym or all of those silly, silly things is whenever you're transitioning from one thing to another, it's time to celebrate. And that's exactly what I did when I came home. I had a little bit of work immediately right when I came home, but it was very celebratory anyway. But I was able to have a fire outside um, and friends came over and it was just such a great reflective time to not start on packing. Don't start doing anything on the to-do list. Just like, it felt so good to just take a breath, take an exhale to celebrate, to share stories from the winter to sharing excitement about summer plans. I also celebrated by relaxing. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's, you know, I there's often like you need a reward to be able to like sit and watch a movie on Netflix, but you don't need, a, you don't have to work hard to then relax. You can just relax because it feels good in the moment. So I relaxed, I watched a movie, I started a new book, and I am just, I'm just loving it. All right, the second thing that I've been doing that I started actually a couple weeks ago was journaling. So it is such a, these transitions for me are such a time where like my emotions kind of go all over the place. A lot of times I can just feel numb, like I'm not actually processing what's happening because during spring, time kind of speeds up. When you're traveling, it feels like time is speeding up and you're visiting. We were visiting, um, my partner and I were visiting friends and family towards the end, the last couple weeks. And so I wanted to really stay in tune with my emotions because then I was, if something were to pop up, like I, I'm less reactive. And so I was really intentional about journaling every day the last couple weeks. And I'm a big journaler anyway, but I particularly focused on identifying my emotion. Like I am sad, I am excited, I am nervous, and then would go into that. And then I would just feel through the emotion and let it cycle out. And just by identifying what it, the emotions are that I'm feeling, even if I'm saying, I'm not sure how I'm feeling yet, that within itself gives you a lot of security and just acknowledgement within yourself of how you're feeling in the moment and that just relieves stress allows anxious thoughts to kind of be quieted down and just feels so much better as you transition because you've already been kind of tapping in so that once you get home you then or you know you get to the next experience that I'm just so in tune with how I'm feeling the third thing that I've been doing is eating really simple and what I mean by that is few ingredients. In the van, I have been living out of a cooler and so I'm limited on the amount of food that I can have, like I just have limited space. And then when I come back to the tiny house, I have a bigger fridge, I have a freezer, luxuries. <laughs> and I wanted to just continue to eat really simple. Again, there's so many things going on when, you know, I'm going from one space to another physically, emotionally, um, mentally. And so by keeping my foods really simple. And so what I mean by that is like, instead of having a salad with like five different veggies and a really intense dressing, like I'm just doing like two vegetables 
and a protein and like a simple olive oil, salt, pepper, and lemon juice dressing. That way I'm digesting physically less and then I can keep digesting my experience of what's happening and how I need to stay organized and right there's just kind of so many things up in the air and you're like ha huh, like I have to take care of so many things it's kind of overwhelming and by eating simple it it allows me to digest other parts of my experience and because I have room and I'm not eating really heavy foods and I'm not overloading my digestive tract. The other thing I've been doing with food is planning and organizing um, what I want to buy because the cooler, right? There's only so much I can have in there, but then I have more space here. So instead of just going to the store and buying all this food to fill the fridge and to fill the pantry, I've just been you know, like dwindling down what I do have. And then I just bought groceries for the week and I'm not trying to overload myself. And I'm just looking at the next week ahead of like, okay, what kind of meals do I want and meal prepping and again, keeping food really, really simple. The fourth thing that I've been doing is prioritizing sleep. I can't say this one enough. Again, when you are transitioning from one experience to another, you're gonna be exhausted on a deeper level, maybe more than what you realize of like, I'm not tired, my eyes aren't heavy. But again, there's so much to digest and it's helpful to just get solid rest. And so what I've been doing in particular is going into my bed like a half an hour earlier than I would, not necessarily to fall asleep earlier, but to just be cozy <laughs> and to keep reading my novel and to just appreciate the space that this place is. And it just allows me to kind of bring it down a notch before I actually fall asleep. And I've noticed that it just allows me to sleep better through the night and I'm just feeling a bit more grounded. All right, the fifth thing that I've been doing is getting organized with my personal and my work schedule. So instead of jumping right into projects and, and instead of trying to overwhelm myself with tiny little details, I'm getting the big picture view. So I'm looking at my schedule for the whole summer. Personally, I'm looking at my schedule for the summer for work. And I, it, it's just so helpful to have the big picture view. And then now that I have, you know, the, the really big view, I can zoom in on particular things and I'm focusing on one project at a time and I'm multitasking less. And again, just keeping my overwhelm of like being back down and keeping my stress down. And it just has allowed me to integrate a bit easier um, without getting into all of the little details of everything. The sixth thing that I've been doing to transition from being in my van to now being back in my tiny house is keeping going back to the basics with movement. So instead of like starting a new uh, workout routine or trying or just trying something new, I'm going back to the absolute basics. And for me, that's either going for a run or a really fast walk um, and doing what I call hundreds. And so I like to do a hundred rounds um, or hundred reps of push-ups, squats, lunges, and then something with core, like some sort of sit up or when I kind of switch it up. But it just, it's something, that, it's a no brainer for me, again, to keep overwhelmed down, to keep the stress down, to allow myself to integrate beyond just what my mind thinks, like allowing my body to integrate back into this space. Like I'm in a different climate and I'm not traveling in the Southwest in my van. So again, to keep things really simple, this kind of goes along the same lines as the food. But if I can keep my movement really basic, again, it, it keeps me moving, which is really important, but I don't have to design anything. I don't have to like really dig deep for extra motivation to do something. It's like, okay, this is something that's really basic for me that I can do daily. Um, and I can do it in one fell swoop in the morning, or I can break it up throughout the day. Like I love like the hundreds breaking up sets of twenties. 
It's actually what I'm doing today versus yesterday. I just did them all at once. And it just allows me to keep moving my body, but I'm able to do it with, you know, it's a no brainer. And the last thing, number seven that I've been doing is connecting with nature. And so I have it right here. I have uh, the plants that I had with me in the van. There's this little hook that it hooked on the wall in the van. Um, but just staying connected with nature inside and outside. And so taking care of my house plants, I was able to pick up a plant that I had at a friend's house that she was watching while I was gone. Um, and then honestly being able to connect with nature outdoors. So I've been, last couple nights I've been sitting on my deck and watching the stars come out as it goes from kind of dusk into night and a really special treat happened where the northern lights came out and it was so sweet being able to listen and just observe and like listen like what kind of birds are here and what's the smell of the air here and the moisture uh, and to be able to watch the clouds and just kind of feel back into this outdoor space. And that makes me feel so connected. It makes me feel grounded. It makes me feel like I'm back, like I'm here because I'm taking a moment to pause. I'm not necessarily meditating, which is really powerful too, but any way that you can just pause the body physically and listen and observe just let your thoughts kind of wander around is so, so helpful to integrate back in as smoothly as possible. So those are the seven things that I've been doing the last couple of days to integrate myself back into my tiny house out of my sprinter van from traveling the last eight months in the Southwest. And I'm so grateful for those experiences, but it feels so good to be home and all about resetting getting organized, allowing myself to get grounded, allowing myself to integrate in back in. And it just feels so, so good to be here. If you are experiencing any sort of transitions in your life right now, I hope that these seven things can maybe be integrated into your life. Um, I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.